The overall goal of the following experiment is to study structural changes in electrodes undergoing cycling in batteries in real time. This is achieved by assembling test cells modified so that electrode processes can be studied in the beamline at a synchrotron radiation facility as the devices undergo charge and discharge. As a second step, data is collected on the test cells at the beamline as a function of time and working conditions. Next, the data is processed and analyzed in order to observe the structural changes that occur as a function of state of charge. Results are obtained that provide insight into the functioning of the electrodes, including phase changes and degradation processes, based on refinement of diffraction data and interpretation. The main advantage of this technique over existing conventional methods like X-ray powder diffraction is that the signal strength is much higher and the acquisition time much faster, allowing rapid acquisition of data. This allows us to monitor devices in real time undergoing charge and discharge. In-situ methods can help answer key questions in the battery field. Battery performance, lifetime, and safety all depend on maintaining the chemical and physical integrity of the battery components. Synchrotron X-ray diffraction techniques allow us to get information on structure changes, phase transitions, and the formation of impurities while the battery is operating. These may have far-reaching implications for performance. I'm a beamline scientist at a synchrotron facility. I collaborate with battery scientists on designing and studying of experiments, uh, help with collection of data, its analysis, and final interpretation of results. Visual demonstration of this method is helpful as the details of cell assembly are critical to the success of the experiment. We want to ensure that the experiment is...